The young publisher seemed to fill the newsroom with sheer personality. He was a big man, over six feet tall, with a high-pitched voice and piercing blue-gray eyes. Hearst rules with a smile. He doesn't yell at anybody. He doesn't fire anybody. But he wants things done his way. This is my newspaper. We'll like to say, I am making a newspaper to suit me. He wrote many of the headlines himself and reviewed all the copy. His name might only appear on the masthead, but his hand was there on every single page. I think in a way, Hearst was ahead of his time. Previously, newspapers were dull as dishwater. There were almost no illustrations, and there were certainly no photographs back then. It was just lines of text, and for the most part, every newspaper looked like the one from the day before. Hearst totally changed the nature of the newspaper. The news had to have personality. It had to have character. It could not uh, be dry or simply factual. For Hearst, journalism was like boxing. The rambunctiousness, the vibrancy, it's bloody. It might do damage to your brain, but still, you make people root for you and you change how they think. It had to be punchy, hyperbolic rhetoric, really lurid adjectives. It's almost hard to describe it because these techniques have become so ingrained in media. 